Oh man. That music just kicked in. Which is odd because I've actually had the game booted for like a minute? Very strange. Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George. I play video games and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are taking a look at Return of the Obra Dinn. This is a game that came out a few months ago for uh, PC and Mac, and uh, I'm reviewing it today courtesy of Ninji3. So thank you, Ninji, for uh, sending this game my way. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I, I don't know a whole lot about this game, but I do know that based solely on the graphical style, I would be interested in checking it out. But then the plot thickens, because up until, you know, just just a few minutes before getting ready to record this. With with all I know going into it is that I, I like the graphical style and the game has a perfect score on Steam, 10 out of 10. I was doing just a quick bit of research. It's created by Lucas Pope. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because Lucas Pope created Papers, Please, which is a great day, uh, or a, a great example of modern day um, beauty and art in video games. Um, you know, th there's a lot of great game examples of art in games, uh, or games as art, and uh, Papers, Please is definitely a modern-day example of that. So, this is Lucas Pope's second commercial game, five years after Papers, Please. So, yeah, needless to say, I'm, I'm excited to jump in and find out what this is all about. No fate solved. Let's begin. Lost at C-1803, the good ship Oberdin. Built 1796, London, 800 tons. Do, 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 do. Contact East India Company, London office for inquiries or testimony. The Honorable East India Company, Attention Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London office. Oberton has returned, dispatched to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Falmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Old Inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Wild. Also, I'm, I'm hoping it'll let me... Yeah! Hoping the pause menu would show this. Um, before it began, I, I quickly looked through the options. There aren't very many options to to do to to change, but um, amongst them there is uh, changing the look to sharp. So it's a little sharper, but it's very clearly trying to emulate games of yesteryear, and that's seen more clearly than ever in the monitor setting, where you can change from Macintosh to IBM, Zenith, and Commodore. Like, there's so many... <laughs> but I think that, based on what everyone has seen, I think this probably encompasses the look of Oberdin um, the most in the marketing materials I've seen. All right, so... Hello, sir. I have my... my arm outstretched. Let me just climb on board here. It's both like a very old computer game and like I'm playing a game on Game Boy, uh, game Boy Camera. <laughs> that seems bad. And you can press E to zoom. So there's, there's very few controls also. The controls are pretty simple. Zoom, open book, close book, and action. So I don't think we can take any action here, although we can zoom and see what we can see. And we're just going to walk around. Now, if you haven't seen Papers, please, I, I would highly encourage you to, uh, honestly, to play it. And uh, if nothing else, then check out the, uh, the first 20 that we did a few years back. What's too heavy? What, my stuff? Where, where, where did I come up? 
Should I, should I get back down? <laughs> off of this ship? It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Okay. So I got a book inside. Return to the Oberdin, a catalog of adventure and tragedy. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. What? The journey, Atlantic Leg of the Far East Route, deck plans, life at sea, complete crew and passenger manifest. So I have to actually fill out this information. You can actually hold D to very, very quickly scroll through. Huh. Memento mortem. Remember death. Okay. Well, uh, it's been great. I don't think I can interact with uh, anything else, so I'm gonna head up. I got, I got my book, and uh, I got my, my compass. So I should be all set. Interesting. So now, because this guy's dead. Ah, there's the key mechanic of the game. All right. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Ah, uh, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. <laughs> Oh, oh! Wild. So I'm literally reliving the mo the exact moment this guy died. Okay. And when I zoom in, it pick it makes a picture of this guy, of this captain. points them out who they are. God, that's bizarre. Okay, so I'm like putting together... So now that I've seen those three people and I've, I've seen exactly what happened there, the scene closes. So we have to work backwards in the book? Location of the corpse outside the captain's quarters. Captain, three others were present. Who is this? How did they die? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the book. So now this scene is opened up a little bit and there's there's someone else here there was another man as a part of this group and I've already seen these guys so I know who they are 
and uh, they occupy 3D space. Like you, you can't walk through them. So right now it is impossible, from what I can tell, to get into this room because he's standing in the doorway. This is basically like a big old murder mystery. And I can't go in these doors. And I can't get up here because I've already checked this guy and he's in the way. So the only other option I have is to go around. And also the sound design is very interesting also because there's some echo in the footsteps. He had a knife in his mouth. Alright, I saw a door. So we're going to go in this door and see if uh, see if we continue to learn more about uh, the story here. So this takes us out of it. Oh, which means now we can move in here. And there's more corpses. And I don't think I can interact with any of this stuff. Because that's not really the point. So, you. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. So there's something happened here. And it certainly wasn't pretty. A lot of blood in the Oberdin. So wait, that guy that's illuminated was illuminated before. But I think that's an... Is that the captain, or is that a new guy? And we can walk out... There's another guy out here... ...who we can't seem to focus on? Oh, there we go. It's kind of hard to keep... Um, ...keep track of who everyone is. Alright, and that's everything we need to see, so we're going to... ...slowly zoom out. And then we get our book, and we continue to work on our ending. Who's this? How did they die? Where are they? This unknown soul met an unknown fate. So you can actually interact with this stuff. This unknown soul. This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Unknown fate. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. This is fascinating. Like, fascinating in the same way that whenever you get Papers, Please, fascinated. Especially the, um, God, the, the, the sometimes moral ambiguity of that title where you are deciding people's lives and the outcomes um, that you, the outcomes because of the decisions that you make. Um, this is great. Man, there's a lot more information here than I was even suspecting. All right, so let's, let's close the book. So now we've seen that. Or where are we? Are we still... Are we still in the book? No, this is reality, I think. It's hard to keep things straight, man. I'm just a little conf I think I'm a little confused. So I, I checked on this. And I checked on this. I checked on these guys. So wait, no, this isn't reality because they shouldn't be standing up. They should be down. I don't know if I'm replaying a memory or not. I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to. Because <laughs> I got sucked out earlier. Wait, maybe while I'm in this reality, I can go in this door. It's a little trippy. I'm still kind of wrapping my mind around. Okay, that's how I get back to this. All right, there we go. 
So I checked up on you. I've learned... I've learned the things I need to learn. But you... You're someone different. And throughout the entirety of this game, you're... you're filling out this whole book. Definitely an untimely fate. Chopped in the head. Oh, and that's that guy from before. There's a significant amount of death happening. I guess I don't have to identify you, but every little bit helps. So that happened. All while this guy was still dangling? No, that guy's not dangling. But now this door's open, and there's someone... asleep. And it didn't immediately end, which means that's not all of the characters in this scene? So there must be another... Oh, there it goes. Maybe I hadn't... I wasn't... I hadn't uh, highlighted them the first time. So now, we fill out even more of the ending. One other person was present. You don't have a sufficient information to determine this person's identity. <laughs> Try anyway. Please explain. Await further clues. Oh, I see. So you have to try... Uh, I understand. Wow, that is complex. Like, I understand. This game is definitely not going to be for everyone. But it's pretty freaking cool. So this is the group picture that we keep seeing that's so blurry. But we still don't know who this is. Alright, so now... We use this to exit... Takes you a little bit to figure out exactly what's going on and, and, and the the rules of play, if you will. So many games, you know, hold your hand and give you a tutorial. This is not one of them. So now this door is open. And this person died in the bed. Uh, yeah, let's check on them. Rewinding time! You died because you got crushed. Yikes. So we've already seen your image before. And there's someone else here now. We haven't seen this guy. This guy's new. What? I was hoping that'd be a character. Uh wow. This is um this went places I wasn't expecting. A giant octopus. Right. So all of these characters were out here. Even a oh my lord. Good god. Okay. And you? We've seen him before. Man, this game this game is something else, especially because it's it's the type of thing that would be very fun to to work on and solve, I think, together with Mao. Um, I think that sort of thing would be really, really enjoyable. So now we jump to the end. Oh, wait, no. We go to a different chapter. The Doom. Wow. The corpse was moved. Ten others were present. But we only listed four of them. And I'm still in here. Although th things are very shaky for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about. 
Did I highlight everyone? Because I didn't highlight these folks. I never got to them. But this will probably fill them in on that picture with 10. I can press space to do action. I'm not sure what I did. What did I do? What? It's highlighting, it's just supposed to represent like thunder, I think. I'm not, <laughs> I did the action, but now I'm not sure what it's supposed to get me to do. I can go up. No, I can't. In the, in the, oh wait, hold on. Oh. So, we used one thing to, like... Okay. So now can I go back out and find that person? No. That was weird. It wasn't... There's like a... Oh! 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 Now I can finally find out what on earth happened here. A lot of strange connections here. This person was disemboweled by the giant octopus. At least that guy's pretty easy to identify because of his tattoos. Wait. And allows us to hit tab to open book. Open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Okay. So if I want to see someone in relation to the sketch, I can hold on them and then press open book, and it shows me who they are. Which, of course, could be... could come in handy. I see. Someone throwing their gun. Everyone's just trying to hold on for dear life. There's bodies everywhere. And the thing is, this is actually one of the later chapters. There's probably plenty of other terrible things that happened to the crew on this boat in the earlier chapters, you know? And as we slowly, uh... So this is in the same chapter, obviously. The Doom is probably in reference to that uh, giant octopus. But there's so many things to figure out. Goodness, all right. I've got, I've got the, the, wiggly, the wiggly compass again. That guy had a gun. Oh, that's one of the guys from before. I mean, there's a limited crew, right? There's, uh, I think it was like 60-something people on board. And the thing you have to remember is that this is in a later chapter. There's a good possibility that some of them died earlier, much earlier. I think that's one of the things to try and, uh, try and remember. I feel bad for these folks. And my, my, my compass was, was wiggly, and it really wanted to check out this body. <laughs> so, so I did it. Which means it's, it's going again. We're going to set this free. And it travels up and around. And honestly, I'm kind of curious um, what it looks like now if I change it like to sharp Commodore. Honestly, it looks cool, but they, they all look pretty interesting. 
then we're brought to this body where we can investigate it. I think I'm going to end it here. Um, the goal of First 20, by and large, is, is to show off what's happening in a game. Um, and man, I, I, think, I think I got it. This is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Uh, Lucas Pope released Papers, Please in 2013. And then this game came out in the late 2018. That's five years. And uh, that's a lot of time for, uh, for a game, but it's also one person. And, I mean, look at the magnitude of this game. The, it seems, at least at first glance, that the complexity of this story and the way in which the characters fit into the giant puzzle that is this story is incredible. Like, the scale of the game is large. It's a huge murder mystery, not of one person, but of the entire crew. It's fascinating. Anyway, um, maybe at some point, I don't know exactly how long this game is, but maybe at some point it would be a really good, uh, really good type of game to, like, stream with Mao. Um, I could definitely use her expertise and problem-solving abilities to figure out this sort of thing. But, uh, from what I've played, I <laughs> gotta say I'm pretty, pretty freaking impressed. Again, this is available on uh, PC and Mac. Uh, if you do choose to pick it up, consider using the Humble Bundle link that we have on screen now or in the description. Purchasing the game using that link does help Mal, myself, and the channel, and we appreciate it. And then thanks again to Ninji for, uh, you know, sending this game our way. You know, I, the only thing I really knew about the game is, based on the art style, I wanted to play it. I had, I had no idea it was by Lucas Pope, and, uh, God, now having played just a little bit of it, it's, it's pretty incredible. It's absolutely pretty incredible. And I know this isn't going to be for everybody, but, you know, if this first 20, uh, you know, <laughs> touched touched your special place. Your special place being the love for uh, story, story-driven story games with uh, interesting characters. I think this might be for you. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week for more Stephen Plays. First 20.